Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're gonna to be doing a Will I Buy It? So we're gonna take a look at the newest luxury beauty releases as well as what's coming soon. And I'll give you guys the details. I want to first thank, you know, where I actually got my information from. I got most of this information from Anna at One Beauty News, and I'll leave her link to her website down below in the description box. You can also see a lot of information on Instagram, but the information I have here today is specifically from her website and uh, also from Suku directly. So let's go ahead. Let's start off with Suku while we're at it. So Suku has their new spring collection coming out very soon. January 20th, it's going to launch at Selfridges and on February 3rd, it's going to launch at Cult Beauty, Liberty London, and um, Harrods. So those are all coming very soon. And we have, you know, like most Suku collections, we have a mix of permanent and limited edition items. And there are some exciting things here. So first of all, we've got three eyeshadow palettes coming out, number 12, 13, and 122. If you are kind of new to Suku, anything that starts with 100 is going to be a limited edition item. So palettes 12 and 13 are both going to be permanent. And I have to say, I really like number 12. And 122 then will be limited edition. We also have some new eyeliners. So the Suku Nuance Liquid Eyeliners are fantastic. They're definitely one of the best, easiest to use liquid eyeliners. I am not skilled with liquid eyeliner at all, but this is one that I feel comfortable using. So number four, Bordeaux, that will be permanent. And then we have 108 Leaf Green and 109 Sakura Pink, which will be limited edition. And we also have two color mascaras. They are both limited edition. I've never tried a Suku mascara, so I'm definitely interested in trying one of these. There is number 106, Nuance Beige, and 107, Nuance Bordeaux. So, so far for me, I definitely want eyeshadow palette 12, possibly 122, and I'm kind of on the fence on a liquid eyeliner just because I don't use them that frequently, but Leaf Green is my pick. Uh, then we have the mascara in Bordeaux. Now, in addition, we have three limited edition melting powder blushes. I love their melting powder blush formula. It's like a gel to powder formula. And we have 103 pink, 104 is a fresh orange, and 105 is a translucent lilac. And I kind of want all three of those. <laughs> and then we have a brand new product. So I'm very excited about this. This is called the Treatment Wrapping Lip. And there are gonna be five permanent shades. So shades number one through five are going to be new. And this is like a liquid lipstick gloss type product. And then shade number 101 is going to be a limited edition. So I'm going to try to limit myself to three of these. I'm looking at the pinkier ones here. So I think the collection looks gorgeous. I'm definitely going to be picking up a lot of pieces from this collection. Moving on. And again, the rest of this information is coming from Anna at One Beauty News. And we're looking at Dior here. So some of this has already been released. Dior has released the Mitza collection. Previous information told us that that was not going to be available in the US and it was going to be a limited release. It's limited edition, but it is available here in the US. I am not really a huge, you know, animal print person. Um, so I just feel like the animals wear it so much better. <laughs> so I am passing on this partly for that reason, but also partly just that these colors in particular aren't really calling to me. So we have a 10 color eyeshadow palette, but we're all, it's all pinks. And I personally don't love pink eyeshadow, you know, having it as a touch, um, you know, that's fine, but I'm not going to use 10 shades of pink eyeshadow. So that, you know, that's a pass for me. They also have another five pan eyeshadow palette number 709 iconic muse, and it looks pretty, but again, it's going to be a pass for me. And the mascara that came out with the fall collection in the brick red shade, that is back, it's the Dior Overcurl. I really like the color of that. I don't love the Dior formula. Um, I think it's a nice formula. The color, I really like the color, but it's not super noticeable. So I'm probably not gonna pick it up again. And then there are two nail polishes, 658 Pink Leopard and 857 Leopardus. And there's a cushion with the Mitza fabric. 
So overall, that collection is going to be a pass from me. But we also have a couple other items for Dior Spring. And that is going to be the Bronze Sepia palette. And there's also a Rosy Petals palette as well. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Soft Petals. I have to say this Soft Petals is number 899, but it does look fairly similar to the iconic Muse palette from the Mizza collection. Either way, I do think both of these palettes look really pretty, um, particularly the Bronze Sepia. It looks warmer toned on the website, but you know you can see swatches of it already on Instagram because these are both available on the Dior website. And they are listed as new, but they are not listed as limited edition. So it does make it look like they might be permanent palettes. So anyway, I do think they're really beautiful, but I just feel like I have enough of those colors in my collection. So there's nothing really new and exciting about those palettes for me. So I am going to be passing on those. There's also a Dior blush that's coming out with the spring collection. And I think this looks like a really pretty shade, but... But I think it is the same blush as this. So this one is number 468. The new blush is 468. It has different embossing. This is one of the limited edition shades that came out with Dior Fall. Um, not 2022, but 2021. And, you know, it's a little bit shimmery. It's a really pretty shade. Um, but I'm betting it's the same color, but they gave it a different name. They're calling this one Lupine now. I forget what it was called before, but that was when we had the, the Wild Wings palette and so forth. It was the bird theme. So it did have a different name, but I think that's going to be the same blush. So no need to pick that up. Another thing to note is looks like Dior is in the process of reformulating their blushes. So we should have new blush formula, potentially new colors and everything coming soon from them. So for me, I'd rather wait for those. I think the Dior blush formula is nice, but I don't like there's nothing special about it for me. So I think, you know, when I see a nice color I like, I pick it up, but it's not a formula where I feel like, oh, I really want more of these type things. So uh, for me, I just think it's okay. But yeah, if you missed out on this when this was available and you're interested in it, it's definitely a nice shade. It's kind of a corally nude, but there's definitely shimmer in there. And honestly, for me, it's just a little bit too shimmery, so I don't really wear it. Also from Dior, we have the Dior Lunar New Year lipsticks. So the lipsticks are going to come in your traditional Dior lipstick packaging for the Rouge Dior lipsticks. So it'll come like this, but there's a special case that goes around this. So, you know, like one of those like cases with the little like latch on the front. So this will have Lunar New Year packaging for that. It looks really pretty, but I don't think the actual lipsticks themselves are any different. If you wanna get the case though, you have to get the lipstick. So they have two shades that you can purchase it in. There's the 999 matte version and the 720 Icone in the velvet formula. I personally prefer the Dior Velvet over the Dior Matte. I find the Dior Matte to be a little dry, but the Dior Velvet um, is a bit more hydrating to me than the matte. They do look fairly similar on the lips though. So um, that's how you can get that Dior Lunar New Year case. They also have a Dior Lunar New Year lipstick set. And that's gonna feature shades 720 Velvet formula. So that's the same as in that case the 760 velvet, the 840 velvet, the 999 velvet, which I really like that, and then the 525 satin lip balm. So definitely a great range of shades if you're interested in those. And in this case, you're gonna get kind of like a nice box for the those lipstick shades there. So you got five lipsticks and a box that fits all of them at once. So overall, I'm passing on that too. I feel like I'm passing on all the Dior. I guess I am passing on all the Dior right now. Um, but yeah, that's what I see coming soon from Dior. But I will definitely pick up some of the new blushes when those come out. And we're already starting to see a few sneak peeks of those. So hopefully they're coming sometime spring, summer-ish. Moving on, Charlotte Tilbury has released new highlighters. I have to say, you know, one of my subscribers saw these in person before they were released and they did tell me that they seemed pretty glittery and looking at them, that's what I see too. And there's just going to be a pass for me. I don't really need any more highlighters. I just don't see anything really special about these. 
and there are other highlighters that I'm more interested in in the future. So um, nothing particular in mind, but you know, Chanel always has something really pretty and I do like the Chanel blush shade that's coming out, which they're calling a cheek palette. So I'm not sure how deep it's gonna be. It might be one of those blush highlighter type products, which is what I'm thinking. And honestly, that's where I'd rather spend my money. So let's move on to the Chanel Spring Collection. So as I mentioned, this blush shade, or they're calling it a cheek palette, even though it's just one shade here, it's called Fantasy de Chanel. And you've got this embossed tweed with a coral pink pearl shade. And it says it's gonna give you a natural blush and healthy glow. So it looks like a blush highlighter combo. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. This I definitely wanna pick up. Also in the spring collection, we have the Balm Essentiel and that's gonna be in the coral pink and the lavender. I'll probably pick up the lavender one. <laughs> so, and we also have two Rouge Allure inks in 263 Dusty Rose and 238, which is a red shade. And I don't know, I'll have to see. I might pick up some of those. I just, you know, for spring, I typically tend to go more for satins. So I might just lean more towards the Rouge Cocoa Bombs that are coming. That's 928 Pink Nude and 930 Brown Red. And I have to say, I don't really wear my Rouge Coco Bombs a ton. I, I do wear them. There are certain shades that I definitely wear, but don't wear them as much as I anticipate it wearing. Um, they're just not, they're, there's nothing wrong with them. There are just other products that I tend to reach for more. So I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm gonna pick these up, but I kind of wanna pick up both of these shades. So I'm on the fence on those. I'd love to know, let me know if you're interested, if you wanna see swatches of those and so forth. Also part of the spring collection, they're bringing out three of the waterproof brow pencils that are limited edition. I don't know why a brow pencil has to be limited edition. I feel like that should just be added to the permanent range, but shades 814, 816, and 818 are coming out and they are limited edition. And then we have this eyeshadow palette in number 68. It's gonna have the tweed embossing on it. I'm curious to know whether or not it's gonna have a tweed, you know, outer case on it, like the, um, the sleeve. So we'll have to see. I'm also curious what the price point is gonna be on that particular palette, whether it's gonna be priced with most of the Chanel palettes or more like the Tweed palettes, which had a higher price tag. And I think that's gonna be kind of one of the determining factors because I think this palette looks really pretty, but you know, I've seen photos of it taken in different lighting and in some lighting, it just doesn't look that great. In others, it looks really nice and springy. So I need to see some better photos, some better swatches and so forth before I really decide. And I think, you know, most likely if it's the regular price, I'm gonna pick that up. But if it is the, I forget how much the tweets were, like 88 or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I wanna pay that much for it. So I'm kind of on the fence with that, but there are definitely some items here from Chanel that I wanna pick up. And the number one item for me from this collection is definitely gonna be the Fantasy de Chanel. And I do think that's gonna go quickly. So if that's one you're interested in, you know, definitely um, don't wait too long on that. These are all due out in February. Let's move on to YSL. So YSL, we've got a few different collections coming out. They have a Valentine's Day collection that should be out soon. And in this case, they have their Le Cushion Foundation in two shades, 10 and 20, with a limited edition gold case. So it's nice, but I'm passing on that. I'm really tired of all of these companies releasing these limited edition like cushion packaging and so forth where you can't just buy the outer packaging. You're continually getting like new cushions or new powders and so forth when I'd rather just have the new outer packaging. So um, that's a pass for me. They also have in this black and gold outer packaging here, uh, two new shades of the Slim Velvet Radical Matte Lipstick. Although I have to say, I'm not positive they're new shades, but um, I don't love the formula, so I don't, I, I don't, I only bought one of them and didn't buy any more. So anyway, we have 302 Brown No Way Back and 314 Limitless Cinnabar. So the packaging on that is going to be a limited edition. I'm not sure about the actual shades there. We also have a YSL Spring Collection, which is actually going to be due out anytime now. This might actually be out before the Valentine's Day one. Um, so it's actually gonna be January, but I'm just not sure when. 
So we have the Volupte Shine Lipsticks. Uh, lipstick bombs rather we have three new shades there and these look really pretty i i might get two or three of these so we have 161 rosewood beet this one's a bit more red we have 162 pulsing rose hip and 163 showstopping rose so those last two in particular are really you know they just look like perfect spring shades to me so i'm tempted by those we also have three new shades of the tatouage couture velvet cream liquid lipstick which I have not tried theirs. So I don't know, I might try one of these. We have 220 Control Blush, 221 Play It Coral, and 222 Pink Game. So I, again, I think those look really nice. The rest of the spring collection though, is just eh. <laughs> so we have um, everything was inspired by a pink sunset. And the one of the things I find really disappointing is you know, the YSL Holiday 10 Pan Palette was the Desert Nude Palette, which was actually around last summer in regular packaging. And then they changed the packaging. I forget, I think it was like gold packaging or something for holiday. Well, that palette is back again for the spring collection in limited edition black leather packaging. Although I'm not sure how this is different from the regular packaging. Um, so, Anyway, I, I'm just tired of them reusing the same color story all the time. So um, not even color story, like all of the shades are exactly the same. It's the same palette. So there's that. And then we do have that cushion foundation back again, uh, this time in a black leather limited edition packaging. And we have three shades available, 10, 20, and 25. And then this actually looks interesting to me. It's the Two Shade Claw Glow Packed Cushion with a pink leather case and they have two shades b10 and b20 but this is supposed to provide high coverage all day comfort 24 hour hydration instantly even and radiant skin and it has an exclusive film forming technology that makes the formula resistant to moisture and the coating is smooth and enveloping like a second skin so i'm kind of curious about it but I'm not sure if I'm curious enough to purchase it. So we'll see. There are also going to be two uh, slim velvet radical matte lipsticks in 312 unconventional nude and 315 boundless maroon. So those are all due out in January. Now moving on, we have a few more collections here. And Tom Ford Rose Prick Collection. I believe I talked about this in my last Will I Buy It. This is due out anytime now in January. And they have taken the creme eyeshadow formula and we have two palettes. One of them is a repeat, it's a Rose Topaz palette, which I personally really like that one. And then we have Forbidden Pink, which honestly looks more rusty than, than pink. I'm gonna pass on that. It's just, um, I don't know, the colors don't speak to me, but you do have the really pretty, you know, pink packaging on these. And then we have two satin matte lipsticks in 26 to die for and 52 Naked Rose. I'm on the fence on those, but honestly, I'll probably pass on them and focus on some other lips. You know, we've got so many great lip products coming out like the Suku and potentially the Chanel Rouge Coco Bombs. And then Givenchy just released their new lipsticks, which I have and will review those very soon. Um, those are the Silk Intense. But if you're interested in preliminary thoughts, I do have a video talking about that formula with the Givenchy Holiday Collection because one of those shades was the Silk Intense formula. Now, moving on to other Givenchy items, we have a few things coming out. There are gonna be two new additions to the Prisma Libra line. We have a skin caring corrector and a skin caring concealer. So both of them are gonna be 11 milliliters of product. The corrector is gonna come in three shades. We have blue, which is supposed to decrease yellowness and add freshness green to decrease redness, and peach to cover dullness and imperfections while providing some brightening. Uh, so interested in that. And then we have the Skin Caring Concealer, which will have a wide range of colors. I'm not sure exactly how many. Both of these products are said to mask imperfections, give the skin a radiance due to the light ref reflecting ingredients, and they're gonna have you know skincare ingredients infused throughout as well. So those I'm interested in, and then we have their spring collection as well. And I'm not sure whether 
you know, all of these items will be available in the US or what, but I'm definitely gonna be looking for them. When things are not available in the US, my first source um, to purchase is typically Feel Unique for Givenchy. That's where I can, you can get the loose powder blushes that we never got here in the US. And they have a new shade that I really, really want. So this is 12 Rose Souffle and it's a coral pink. I think this looks so pretty and I love their loose powder blushes because I just think they give you, they go on beautifully. So, you know, it's really like one of the most natural looking powder blushes in my opinion. So I just really like those. I really want that one. And then we have three shades of Rouge Enter de Balm, which is new. They're all gonna be, they're, all gonna include some shimmer. So we have 21 Sparkling Peony, 22 Luster Dust, and 23 Red Shimmer. And I would like to get all three of these. So all of these spring items here are gonna have this black and white 4G logo, and they are all limited edition. They are due out in January. They are not currently on the Givenchy website for the US. So hopefully they'll be releasing soon. And even if they're not here, I hope that they do make it to feel unique. And most of the time things do make it over there. So uh, yeah, I think oh, we're almost done. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention were the uh, Chanel Chance body creams. So they released three fragrance body creams. I am not huge on Chanel fragrances, so they're gonna be a pass for me, but they are out and uh, you know, they look like a nice product. I've heard favorable things from people who've used them so far, but they are just something that doesn't really interest me at the moment. So um, yeah, that's everything for this edition. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, thank you from, thank you to Anna from uh, One Beauty News for all of this information. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. So I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.